Hello there, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your weekly reading for this week of now the 13th to the 17th. This weekly release was originally the 11th to the 17th, but I was focusing so much on your Leo Plus release on your bonus channel, I didn't even realize that you didn't get a weekly, so I do apologize, Leo. So keep in mind, obviously, time is fluid. I'm still intending this message to be for this week till the 17th of July. It could run over that time frame for some of you because I did get this out a little later. But I did not want to leave you out at all. Would never do that to my beautiful Leos ever. So let's get started. We are getting you a moon affirmation. For my beautiful Leos, once again, I do have a bonus channel. That's where I was focusing so heavily. So if you do want bonus readings, definitely check out your bonus channel. You can find the link for that down below. So Leo, your moon affirmation card is this card. And it says, failure is only learning. I move with confidence and resilience. Beautiful Leo. So some of you may have been feeling a sense of not getting to the places you've been wanting to get to, not feeling like you have been reaping rewards of the goals you've been wanting to have for yourself. And Spirit is indicating that, you know, there's a quote that I like by someone and it says, Sometimes you have to stand by your failures to recognize your success. And a lot of you Leos are not letting that get you down and still moving with confidence and resilience towards your goals. So some of you may have been feeling like there's something long awaited that's not happening or something didn't work out in your favor. But Spirit is highly indicating that you are only moving forward. And take these as lessons and learning situations for growth. So that's your affirmation. Let's see what your astrology blueprint for the week is, Leo. And you have Virgo energy. Critical, discerning, ritualist. So some of you may have been very hard on yourself recently for something that maybe didn't work out or something. Maybe maybe you really wanted something at one point and now you're deciding, you know, maybe I really don't want it. And you worked hard and you put a lot of effort. That's okay. We can change our minds on things. You also have 3D, Earth, Energy, Physical, Life, Journey, and Karma. And you also have Aquarius, Energy, Nonchalant, Unique, and Rebel, some of you may have Aquarius and Virgo energy in your chart or around you. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But Spirit is highly indicating for you here, Leo, that there was something that's been going on for you. And you've been being very hard on yourself because it either has unfolded in a way you didn't expect or unfolded in a way where you just feel like it didn't work out for you. And Spirit is indicating that that's okay. Let it be okay. Because you know what? Sometimes things unfold in a way better than we expected. Or sometimes we actually get protection over failure. And you look back on a situation and you're thankful that something didn't work out for you. Or that something went in the way that it went in the past. So I feel like a lot of you Leos are going to come into that realization of that. Where... At one point, it may have not felt so great. At one point, you were really hard on yourself, critical of what you could have done differently. No more. You are you are going to feel a lot better. You're going to find a new way to do things with this Aquarius energy. You are a very unique individual, and Spirit wants you to know that. So let's see what we have here with your tarot themes for the week and get more details on this. So we have here joy and stability, the four of wands. We have the eight of cups, moving on. And we have success and growth, the eight of wands. Yeah, so I feel like for some of you, there could have been a situation around home or relationship where you couldn't get something to work in your favor or you couldn't get someone to see your side of things 
or you couldn't get someone to work well together with you. And spirit is indicating that you released that. And you said, you know what? Everything I'm doing is not working. Everything I'm trying to heal with this person is not getting me anywhere. Every single sort of effort that I try putting into this situation, it doesn't work out for me. So I see a lot of you Leos detaching from it and realizing that, you know what, it's not failure. It's just a learning lesson. And I'll try things differently next relationship. I'll try things a different way next time I'm in a workplace scenario that may seem familiar to this. I do want to say for some of you Leos, I feel like you backed off from a situation that you were like doing everything in your power to make a certain situation work, to make a certain situation or relationship be compatible or compromising. And spirit is like, let it go and let it flow. You shouldn't be the only one having to put in all the effort. And I feel like for a lot of you, you are reaping reward of a very large turning of the table situation. So I feel like for a lot of you Leos, you may felt like you failed in a certain relationship to only get blessed with a better one with the eight of wands here. Some of you, I definitely feel like you felt like you weren't getting anywhere. Nothing you did was working for you. You distanced yourself from this person and now they want to see if things can work out. So I definitely feel like for some of you Leos, you're getting blessed after giving up on something or the tables are turning because you have given up of trying so hard in a certain situation. Let's clarify this. Also, Leo, at the end, we will get a mini love spread for you for the week. But some of you, this definitely could have to do with a lover. On the Four of Wands here, you have the Five of Cups. There's a disappointment. There's a feeling like I keep doing everything to make this work, make this happen. Eight of Cups to the Page of Swords. So it looks like once you distance yourself and once you walk away, you are open to better experiences and you have learned. Or it's making this person be more curious about where you're going, why you're not putting effort into this situation or relationship anymore. And on the Eight of Wands, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, so I definitely feel like some of you are finding a lot more success and a lot more reciprocation in a job scenario that does does match your effort. You know, you want to put in a 100 and feel like you're getting appreciated and paid on the level of a 100. And some of you felt like that wasn't working out for you in a certain situation with finances and career. Others of you, I feel like you felt like that situation wasn't working out with a specific person. But you are going to be surprised at the energy that you attract in now or very high possibility of the tables turning because you stopped trying for something. Clarify this for Leo. We have the Hermit. Yeah, there you go. Staying to yourself. We have the King of Wands and we have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of you are definitely leaving out a work situation that no longer serves you. You just felt like you tried everything and it didn't get you anywhere, which is okay. It's a learning lesson. It's a learning situation and you will find something better for yourself. You will find something that gives you more comfortability financially. A lot of you may need to hear that. Others of you, I definitely feel like this has to do with another person. I feel like you were doing everything in your power to save this friendship, to save this relationship, to make this family dynamic work, and this person was being very difficult to deal with. I feel like you distanced yourself or you walked away from them. You're getting blessed with a new person or the tables are definitely turning here. If this is a new person coming in for Leo, what do they need to know? Justice, Four of Wands. Queen of Swords, they're definitely going to bring you a better relationship or a better friendship. It's going to feel a lot more balanced with this new person. If this is that same person that the tables may be turning with, what does Leo need to know? Hierophant, Eight of Cups, Six of Wands, Three of Swords. They're not going to let you walk away despite the pain and the hurt they've caused you. They do not want you to walk away. They're going to try to make peace with you. Page of Wands here, Temperance, and try to get you to feel re-sparked in this situation. So 
I feel like uh, new energy is definitely coming in that feels more balanced. And some of you, the tables are definitely turning because you're walking away from this situation and this person doesn't like it. Stun, Queen of Pentacles. They feel comfortable with you and they don't want you to go anywhere. Interesting. That may happen with work, too. Some of you, this work situation may try to get you to stay by, like, promoting you or giving you more money. But I definitely feel the tables are turning here, Leo. Because you distance yourself. You decided this is not what's valuing me. So, let's see what love has. Let's get an oracle for love for the week. Or the rest of what's of this week. And you have the gardener. Yeah, so somebody wanting to put effort into you here. Leo. Somebody wanting to water your garden romantically. Could be this new person coming in. Could be this current person that feels like they need to put more effort in now. Table's definitely turning. So show me for Leo in terms of romantic love what's coming towards Leo. Six of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you definitely distance yourself here. And now somebody's interested in reciprocating you more. Or you cut off somebody, you distance yourself, and now you're getting blessed with somebody who's more generous with their time and energy. Or this person is specifically putting more effort in because you have distanced yourself. If this is a new lover, what do you want Leo to know if they're new? To a sword, you don't see this person coming. You're not maybe used to someone valuing you in this way, but they are going to. If this is a past person, what do you want Leo to know? Ten of Wands, you put down this connection. Page of Swords, they're still watching you. Ace of Cups, they are still in love with you. They do want to love you. They do have a love offer. And if this is Leo's current energy that they may distance themselves from, what do you want them to know? The current energy will do. Three of Wands... They may keep you waiting for a second. Two of Pentacles. Five of Cups. So it looks like your current energy is going to act like they don't care at first. And then they're going to kind of cause you to be in your head a little bit. Because they're going to try to be comfortable for you because you have walked away. Or distance yourself. So the current energy is going to try to act like they don't care. They're going to act like they're unfazed. By you moving away from them. They may think you're bluffing. And if you hold that power and stay comfortable and distancing yourself. I see this person uh, making a bit of a U-turn and wanting more of your energy. But if you do switch back and they call you out for a bluff. They're just going to do what they did to you all over again. Show me the current energy. What else do they need to know about this person? Lovers, yep, exactly, King of Swords. They're only going to want to chase you when you're acting distant. I don't know. So, in terms of zodiac signs in these spreads that could be around you or in your chart, you have Virgo, Aquarius. You have Libra, Gemini, Taurus. Sagittarius, Leo, you really could be dealing with anybody, but this is what I have here for you, Leo, for the rest of this week. Let's see what your fortune cookie is. The tables will turn if you allow them to, Leo. Keep your distance. Stand up for what you believe in here. And your fortune, your fortune is friendship. A friend needs your help, your kindness, and the excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So very high possibility that some of you this had to do with a friend. And you also have sunshine right up your alley. The sun is shining on you, career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. All right, Leo. Very interesting. So this is what I have here for you for the week, Leo. If this reading resonated to you, do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Like this video if you have not already. 
And Leo, I have partnered up with Rose Forever. A lot of you may already know this, but you can definitely take advantage of their promotion for their Parents' Day promotion. I have a promo code, Miss Machiste 20 where you will get percentage off. These roses last a full year. They come in beautiful boxes. You can even get crystal boxes as well. If you do not want to participate in Parents' Day, you can use this as a gift anniversary, whatever the case may be. I will link it down below if you're interested and I'll see you Leo's very, very soon as well as on your bonus channel too, which you can also find the link for that down below. So thank you Leo's. I'm sending my love to each and every one of you. I'll see and talk to all of y'all soon. Bye now.